For this recipe, you will need heavy cream with 35 to 36% fat. So measure out 235 grams of heavy cream. Whoops, I put a bit too much. We're trying to be precise here, so make sure you follow the recipe. Let's start with whipping our cream. For this recipe, with such a small amount of cream, we're using a whisk. This will give us the best control of the final texture of the whipped cream. This is the most crucial part of the mix. If you whip it too much, it'll be difficult to evenly incorporate the whipped cream into the ganache. If you whip it too little, the mousse won't be airy enough. Here the cream is starting to get a little thicker. Once you reach this stage, you want to whisk in shorter intervals, about 5 to 10 seconds, so you can check the consistency. Here's how you tell you have the right consistency. It should be soft and pillowy, and when you turn it upside down from a silicon spatula, it should form a peak. This is the ideal texture for a mousse. This will allow you to evenly incorporate it with the ganache and leads to a light and fluffy mousse. Once you've reached this texture, you can go ahead and store it in the fridge. Next up, we're making our dark chocolate ganache. So prepare 140 grams of 70% dark chocolate in a tall vessel. Try to use the best quality chocolate you can find because this will determine the final flavor of your mousse. Here we're using chocolate buttons. This will allow the chocolate to melt evenly to make a perfect emulsion. If you don't have chocolate buttons, you can chop up your block to roughly pieces of this size that I'm showing you here. Here we need 63 grams of heavy cream. We need 63 grams of whole milk. And to start off with, we need to bring the milk and cream to a boil. Make sure you get every last drop. Grab a spatula that's obviously too big for the glass. Put it to the side and grab a smaller spatula to scrape up every last bit into the saucepan. Give the mixture a mix. This will make sure the heat distributes evenly. We're looking to bring the entire mixture to a gentle simmer. We want to try to avoid a rolling boil as this will lead to evaporating some of the water content and change the ratios of our ganache. Once it's reached a gentle simmer, you want to pour this over the chocolate. Give it a little swirl and allow it to sit for a minute to allow the chocolate pieces to melt. Here I'm using a hand blender with an emulsifying attachment. This will make sure we have a perfect emulsion. Once the chocolate has rested for a minute, go ahead and use your hand blender to emulsify the mixture. Here is the final texture of the ganache, it should be perfectly smooth and shiny. As soon as you make your ganache, we want to incorporate some of the cream. If you wait too long, the ganache will get too cold and will start to crystallize when you start whisking in the cream. This will lead to a grainy mousse. Take part of the cream and mix it into the ganache to loosen the mixture. Then pour that into the whipped cream. Here's another critical part to the recipe. You want to gently fold these ingredients together until it is evenly incorporated. Mm, look at that. So to fold the ingredients together, you want to use a silicon spatula and you want to bring the ingredients from the bottom of the bowl over to the top whilst rotating. This will ensure the mixture is evenly incorporated whilst maintaining the air pockets that we whipped into the cream. Once the mixture is evenly incorporated, that's it. You have your mousse. Look how beautiful it is. So all that's left to do is to transfer this to a piping bag. Try not to overfill it like I did or else it'll be difficult to close. You want to cut about a two centimeter hole. You want it large enough to not affect the texture of the mousse. We just pipe it into our little mousse cups. If you want a flat surface, you can give it a little shake and a few taps on the table, which should flatten it out. Once you've piped your mousse cups, you want to leave these to set in the fridge for two to four hours. To top off the mousse, we're going to prepare a quick and little garnish. Here we'll be making some shaved chocolate. All you need is a chocolate bar, turn it upside down, Hold both edges of the knife firmly and scrape perpendicular to the surface to create some chocolate shavings.
So here it is, the dark chocolate mousse cups. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Wow. Cheers. So creamy, super smooth. Nice velvety melt in your mouth, yeah? So good. Wow, that's one of the best. <laughs> it's one of the best mousses we've ever had. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> it's just so satisfying. <sighs> Three ingredients, milk, chocolate and cream. Which is a great dessert. Really rich dark chocolate flavor. You want to taste the subtle notes? This is a great option for you. To experience that. <laughs> Almost dropped it. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and visit thezertisons.com. Thanks everyone for coming. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.